Hello guys, how are you? Today we're going to be talking about the CH592 and how using this MCU we can create a PDF temperature and humidity data logger as can be seen from the picture below. Now, uh, the project we did here is we created a small temperature and humidity sensor making use of the CH592. Uh, some of the main features include up to 90 days uh, of record of uh, battery life and it can generate a PDF uh, upon being plugged into a PC. It's also relatively easy to use with only two commands. Uh, the first one to begin logging the data and the second one to reset factory default settings. Now, uh, here are some main features of the CH592. So we have uh, 26 uh, kilobytes of RAM and uh, 512 uh, kilobytes of flash. And it also integrated with a 2.4 gigahertz uh, RF transceiver and baseband link and control. It is also BLE compliant and uh, supports BLE 5.4. And it also has an integrated USB 2.0 full speed transceiver. And uh, it has multiple peripherals like UART, PWM, SPI, and I2C. And uh, can support uh, a low power supply of about 1.7 volts. Now, the display we used, uh, the LCD segment, uh, this is the driving mode of the LCD segment. Uh, and uh, this is the implementation we used to drive the LCD and uh, display the values. Now, let us go to our main application, the data logger. Now, the basic working flow is uh, we're going to be using CH592 as our MCU and connecting it to, two, to a temperature and humidity sensor, storing that data whilst being powered from a battery. So this is ideal in cases especially for transportation or cases whereby you need to keep daily logs of how much the, the values in temperature and humidity are changing. But also the key feature here is upon plugging it into a USB, it will create a PDF for you to see the values and uh, also see the patterns in temperature. Now the schematic we is now the schematic we used is relatively easy. We used the CH213K and connected it to a battery, and also we have some LEDs for indication like power on or failure. The program flowchart. Uh, shows here how the whole system works but for the most part uh, if the usb is connected then we make the pdf and we show it on the user's uh, desktop but if the usb is not connected then we initialize our data logging application and uh, some of the more specifics is that uh, for uh, for creating the data file, we store them in memory. And uh, as you can see here, the memory blocks and the sampling data storage is stored uh, two bytes for temperature and two bytes for humidity. Okay, so as we can see here, this is our data logger, our PDF logger using the CH592. And uh, here the USB, that's where we connect uh, and it will transfer all the data. Uh, we're going to power it on for now using a 3V3 line. And uh, the, this is the button. Uh, so the button only has two commands. You press once uh, and hold for three seconds to initiate or you tap five times to reset. And uh, those are the only two commands we have. Uh, and uh, so we will be, uh, and if you look uh, behind the back here, you can see our main MCU, the CH592X, that's uh, controlling the entire system. And uh, here the power from the uh, ground and 3v3 line, which we shall replace with a battery. 
So uh, let's begin. Okay, upon uh, powering on our MCU, we're going to uh, be able to use it and I'm going to show you. So we've connected it to a ground in 3v3 line. And if we press and hold for a few seconds, then uh, it should uh, turn on. Uh, okay, uh, let me make some adjustments. Now, if we press and hold for three seconds, uh, yes, it did turn on. And right now it's showing, it's fluctuating between the temperature and uh, humidity values. Uh, and it can record this data for up to 90 days and it can, uh, upon being used, it can put it in a PDF and when plugged in, it will generate the PDF file and it will display it as an output. Uh, that's because the CH592 has uh, USB built-in uh, and also it's uh, capable of even uh, having... So it's capable of creating the PDF file and registering itself as a storage device on your PC so you don't need any drivers or any extra software for this platform to work. Uh, upon plugging it, you will get your PDF. Okay, now that our battery is soldered on and connected, uh, this is actually how the final product will look like. Uh, and we press and hold the power button for about three seconds. Uh, let me make some adjustments. Uh, we press and hold the power button for about three seconds and it will power on the humidity and temperature sensor. Okay, so now it's recording these values and as, as I said earlier, it can record for almost up to 90 days on this battery. Uh, so we will then see the data that is being read at the output and show you exactly how uh, it works. I've been running it in the background for about two days uh almost two days so i'm about to show you what happens when we plug it in and uh what the final data looks like okay so this is our pdf file being shown here it contains the device information and much more and uh, a graphical presentation of the temperature and humidity values the MCU uh, or the device has been experiencing. Now, if you look at this table here, it shows the time uh, when, when the value was taken and the reading from the temperature and humidity sensor. And it saves all this data into a table for you to access. And uh, for you to get this PDF file, it requires no external drivers. It's just plugging into your PC and because the CH592 has integrated USB support, it will uh, register itself as a storage device and generate the PDF for you. Uh, that's it for today. If you have any questions, please leave them in the comment section below. Uh, if you want to get in touch with us or contact us, you can uh, contact uh, our you can contact Patrick Yang on Twitter and also you can contact us as well on Twitter. Uh, the links are shown on the video right now or you can scan the QR code. So that's it for today. Thank you.